class. I'm Miss Williams, and today we're going to talk, well, we're going to learn how to tie our shoes. And lots of you guys might think that's lame, or you mastered that when you are three, but mine is going to be a little bit different. So, here we go. Learning how to tie a shoe is very important, because there's lots of stylish shoes that have laces, and you don't want to fall or have your shoe get somewhere else that's not on your foot. So, we're going to practice today, because it's a valuable lesson. And sometimes, if you walk around with your shoes untied, people might think that you're messy, sloppy, don't want to send off that message. So, can I have someone read the directions that I have handed out as I demonstrate how I tie my shoe? Sarah. Huh. Actually, I might just take it off because I'm not good with balance and I don't want to fall over. <laughs> but I take off both shoes. My grandma believes if you walk around with one shoe off, it's bad luck or something. So, we'll just do this. Anyways, I'm ready. Okay. Okay. Have a shoelace in left hand and a shoelace in right hand. Got it. Cross the two, which make an X. Pick up. What was the left side with your right hand, and what was the right side with your left hand? Take the shoelace in your right hand and slide it under the shoelace in your left hand. Grab that lace with your right hand through the opening. Once through, pull with right hand and pull other shoelace with left hand to the point where your foot feels snug. My foot was in there. This would be a snug moment. Okay. <laughs> Form a snowman's head the size of the tip of your finger with the left shoelace and hold. Wrap the right shoelace around that snowman's head like a scarf one time. Underneath is a hole or the bottom half of the snowman. Does everyone see this hole, bottom half snowman? Using your right index finger, Push the right shoelace through that opening to form another loop. When the size of the tip of your finger has been pushed through, take your left hand off the snowman's head and scarf and grab the newly formed loop. Pull with left hand the newly formed loop and with right hand the snowman's head and scarf until the loops are equal in size as well as snugly tighten the shoe. Yay. Okay. I did it. Now, it's your guys' turn to do the same. Each of you, if you have partners at your tables, yes, you would do it, teach, read off the section to one person why they tied their shoe. If you don't have shoes, you throw mine, or someone can give away one of their shoes. So we're all oh, friends I here. Well, I don't have shoes. <laughs> do you have, I don't, yeah. well, no, one, no one has shoes. <laughs> Okay, shoes out. You guys need a shoe? Yeah, yeah, I do. Okay, you guys need a shoe. You guys need a shoe? Okay, here's a shoe. Everyone else have a shoe? Pair it off. Are you going to read me the directions? Yes, well, you Okay, okay. okay. so someone reads the directions. Uh, yeah, I don't want to write the
don't I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I did something wrong. <laughs> it's okay. Um, I'm going to say good job because you tried. <laughs> Alright, so does anyone want to comment on this activity? Tell how hard it is to teach someone how to do a physical activity without, you know, tell, like telling them how to do it? Have a comment on that? You make sure you pay attention. Like, I was just ready to tie my shoe, but yeah. you had to go step by step. Make sure you stop and think about what you're really doing. Yes. yes. Awesome. Well, my goal today was to teach you how to um, be able to verbalize a physical skill and how tough that can be. I know a lot of us just want to like show someone how to do it, but not everyone learns that way. Some people learn by telling.